Welcome back to Studio 209. Sponsored by City of Turlock Municipal Services. Vintage Fair Mall. 209 Magazine. Studio 209 starts now. Welcome to another episode of Studio 209. I'm Krista Messer. This week we're taking you out of the 209 and into the 916 for the California Museum to celebrate Dia de los Muertos. Here's your chance to check out five California artists, including one local artist from the 209, Francisco Franco. Take a seat and enjoy the show after a word from our sponsor. Now that winter is approaching and temperatures are falling, it's time to start thinking about turning off your irrigation system. However, for customers who opt to keep their irrigation systems on, please remember that the City of Turlock's winter watering schedule limits landscape irrigation to one day per week. From November 1st to February 28th, even-numbered addresses may water on Saturdays and odd-numbered addresses on Sunday. And remember, Watering is prohibited from the hours of 12 noon to 6 p.m. To find out more ways to save water at home, visit the City of Turlock's website at www.cityofturlock.org. There's more to the season than just candy and costumes. Every November 1st and 2nd, the Mexican culture celebrates Dia de los Muertos, a time of the year where they remember relatives and loved ones who've passed on. We're here at the California Museum in Sacramento to view the Day of the Dead, Art of Dia de los Muertos 2015 exhibit. <laughs> So how did the California Museum decide to do an exhibit like this? Well, we actually, this is the second time we have done an exhibit devoted to Dia de los Muertos. Um, and the first time we did it was two years ago, and it was really successful. And we decided, based on that success, we would bring it back, only we would make it bigger and better, and uh, that's what we've done. We have Francisco Franco, uh, and he just does amazing art. You know, he keeps, he has very iconic um, pieces with the Selena and the Marilyn. Um, just next level work. And then the other artist is uh, David Lazo, um, just a phenomenal artist. He does a, has a lowbrow style. Then we have John Horta. He's a Sacramento artist also, and he does um, very iconic figures also and keeps with the tradition of making sugar skulls and daily to smart those pieces. Mary Southall is a very good artist too, where she also does next level artwork doing an altar on Amelia Earhart. And so we've all built altars on these. Um, people in our lives and all of our art reflects around them to where all these artists, I mean, all of us together, we all complement each other very well. My mom passed away over seven years ago and um, getting through that experience because I don't know my father was, you know, moms are the core of everything. And my wife suggested we celebrate Daily to Smart Dose and we invited a bunch of friends over, had a bunch of sugar skulls and we built an altar. And it really helped me get through, you know, a very extreme time in my life. The one that's behind me on the community altar, that's a 35 pound piece. And the piece that we're standing that's right behind us is a 15 pound piece of sugar. So this piece, about how long did it take you to complete? This takes about two months. It's actually built in seven different pieces and then when it's mounted it comes together as one. Can you tell me a little more about the veterans altar? Yeah, so in addition to the exhibit that we have here up through January 3rd, we're doing a veterans altar in our lobby. It's going to be free admission. Um, and it is from October 30th until Veterans Day, November 11th. And we're putting that on in collaboration with the Mexican American Veterans Committee, um, which is inviting people to come and leave their own sort of mem memory of one of their friends or loved ones who's passed away who served in the military. This exhibit is located in Sacramento, but what do you feel would draw people to drive, you know, an hour to come see it, which is well worth it in my opinion, but what, what would you say would draw people in to come see it? Well, you're only driving an hour to see artists from all over California, so you're not having to drive all the way down to LA or San Diego or San Francisco. You're coming to one spot to see five phenomenal artists from all over California. And then if you've had that situation in your life where you've lost a loved one, you can also add to the community altar and be a part of this whole exhibit, just like all of us are. And you can add to the memory chain, add your loved one's name on there. Um, there's just so much going on here that you can absorb so much from it and, you know, be inspired by it. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, what's up? What, what's with the shoulder pads, man? <laughs> it's football season, man, and it's the blitz season. I, I gotta get ready. I think you need this, man. <sighs> what do you think? That's legit. The Blitz. See all the art in person before the exhibit ends in January. Be sure to catch our next episode at 209magazine.com, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and exclusively on the Chillock Journal YouTube channel. Next week's episode is a feature straight out of 209 Magazine, where we sit down with Tiki Carver of Vic Phillips. For everyone here at Studio 209, I'm Krista Messer, and we'll see you next week.